Hey, what's up, how you doing? Welcome to the second part of this um, series here. So in this tutorial here, we're going to be looking at how to work with routes in Laravel. Alright, so first thing I want to do is um, head over to my file manager and then head over to where I installed the application. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so I think I created the application here called um, to do app also. Um, yeah, so this is it right here. Um, Okay, so, uh, sorry, this is not it. I think it's um, to do instead. Okay, so this is it here. So I want to open my terminal here. So I'm just going to type CMD. So that's going to open my terminal in this directory here. I'm just going to create this. So I want to open this in Visual Studio Code. So this is going to open up the Visual, our project on in Visual Studio Code using the code then space dot. The only time you can achieve this is um, once you, you're doing your installation, you allow it. That's when you can be able to use the command line to open a project folder in your in your uh, terminal. All right, so let's wait for that to actually load up. Um, still loading. And the meantime, so let's explain what the route is. So the route is basically where we want to move to. Exactly. So for example, when you head over to www.facebook.com, we have you know we have we can have a place called slash pages slash group slash about or you have your own personal website you want to make slash about slash home slash contact us so that does those are what we call out so for the meantime i'm going to be making use of um the visual studio code terminal so i'm going to open up the terminal here the ones that is loading well, let's take a look at the project folder first so the project folder here we have the app so this app controls the http so this http here is where our our like our basic logic is going to be included because that is where the controller is because Laravel is a model view controller kind of system. So that is where our function is going to be. So that is where our controller is. Then we also have in, uh, in the database here, this is where we have migration. So if you don't like go to the database and start creating tables by yourself, you can use migrations. Then we have, I think, in the app also, yeah, we have the model. So this is the model here. This is how we interact with the database. Then last but not the least, to making it MV, MVC. So we are remaining the V. We have the um, sorry, this is um kind of off. So we have the resources, and then we have views. So this is what we see. All right, good. So let's go ahead and just run this folks. PHP artisan. Um, sorry, just gonna close this. Um, okay. So let's head over back here. There's a PHP artisan serve. Okay, so this is actually going to run our server like like it did last time. Okay, so let's wait for this. And while that is opening, I'm going to open up my Visual Studio code. Okay, good. So the route um file we are going to be working with is um is located in um routes folder. This is the route folder here. The web.php. So this is where our route is actually included. All right, so this is where we are going to be working with. So this is our route here. Yeah. Now you can see we have api.php, channel.php, and console.php. API for .php is actually when you're working with its um, API, you want to build API. So this is the route you're going to be using. The console is um these commands that we have here. If you want to like create a command, and why the console? I actually don't. Uh, the channels. I mean, I actually don't know what the channel is all about. It's like just like raise a connection between um some two type of command. I think so. Um, this is not actually working. I don't know why. Uh, why is the error here? <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm just gonna close this. I don't know what is wrong with the system right now, but let's use the this PHP artisan serve and let's wait for that to open up. All right, so our server is actually up and running already. So this yeah, so let's copy this and um, let's go to our browser. Um, let's get up, paste this here and click this. Um, what is new? 
yeah i don't know why he's asking me what is new um yeah let's just skip that and um, let's run this again okay so let's wait for this to send the request and let's let's check the timeline if it's actually sending the request yeah so it's sending a request as accepted and it's taking forever to load up why that why that is loading um let's go ahead and take a look at this so this is actually returning a route so we have this route here now we can we can just check so we have this route here so this route has a static method called get so it has defense about a static method it has the gate it has the post it has the post it has the um update no not update it has the put it has no is it put actually i think it's put or patch it has the put or patch so we'll actually look at that then it has the delete so it has all this that you can work with okay so this is actually a get so this get is sending a request to the to the to the main url to the home url and it's calling a function and it's done in the words view so the view here is what welcome w.php which is right over resources right over resources um views welcome w.php all right so that is it right there so that is it right there so this is actually what is running so this view i think you can call it in the web you can call it in the controller it's up to you <clears throat> okay so this is still not loading though. i don't know okay yeah so it has loaded up already so this is the home page so this is the welcome dot if you should go ahead and edit this let's try and edit this um What can we try and change here? Uh, okay, so let's do. So where we have this Lara cast here, I can do a low word. I should save this. Oh no, why did it format everything for me like this? I don't want you to format, please. So we have this a low word here. I'm just gonna save like this. Save. Uh, you know what? Just format if you want to format, format. Yeah, so let's refresh this. Now where we have um this Lara cast here, I think we should we should be yeah, we should be saying an hello word here. You can see we have hello word here. So this is actually what is running now. So let's just close this. Uh, and what we want to do right now is um let's return, let's return like something like it's just saying a low word so we can pass that in here actually so i should save this and i head back there we should refresh this like i can see we have a low word right there so like we are going to build up our page so the first page we need is a uh, we've done that so that is going to be our for our to do home page so the next we need is a uh, let's just we're going to be using guests so one want to make use of it to we'll change it to the respective um request they are supposed to be getting so you want to have a let's have view so view is going to be function sorry so this is going to be function return let's say view i'm just going to copy this Paste, paste. So this is gonna be edit and um, delete. Okay. So let's check that out. So refresh this. We we should still have hello word in this place. Yeah. So we still have hello word. So let's go to edit. um yeah so we have edit so for our edits now okay so for the um edits we need to like get a particular post by an id so we can go ahead and specify an id here so this function we can pass in id so i can go ahead and like do a, a return let's just return 
id so this should be id so let's try it out so let's refresh this we should be having 404 error yes yeah, so we should have 404 error here so let's put one now you can see we have one we should put 1000 you can see we have 1000 so the same way we want to do it for the delete we want to delete by an id so let's go ahead and do id for the delete so let's return the id also so let's save this sorry id so let's save this uh, let's go back so we should go ahead and do delete also. I should be saying 1000. Now I want to sh show you something for the post. So if I should go ahead and set this to a post request. So a post request is actually supposed to like when a, 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 a request is sent to the server. But once you load a post request to a view like this without sending any request, you are going to encounter this type of error here. So let's go to view. So you're going to encounter this type of error here, um, which is a um, yeah, get method is not supported in this route because we assigned the what a post request. So what we need is what send the data to it and accept the post request, right? So we'll be actually looking at post requests when we start sending data to our database and want to save it. Okay, so let's just undo this, right? So basically, this is what we are going to be handling for our routes, and um, the last tutorial we are going to start building the controller and the view. Right, so don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Peace.